Welcome to this video uh, showing you um, some of the tools for exploring click characteristics in pod data. So uh, I've got a file open here. If we just look at the files page, three copies of the FP3. It's from the extreme southwest of England. And um, you can see it's got a lot of dolphins. These are most likely common dolphins and porpoises are narrowband high frequency species um, so what we want to do is get a nice big chunk of say the, the porpoise data so now we've just got porpoise click trains showing there and we will go into high resolution 100 milliseconds per pixel and we'll look for at least 3,000 clicks in a screenful. So we do show from start, show next screen. Um, let's just see what this looks like. Um, okay, there's quite a lot going on there. Let's go to the next one. Um, the next one. Yeah, these are all coming out um, fairly similar. So let's go we're back at the first one here. So right click and select, put raw data into clipboard. Okay, it tells me 3,117 clicks are on the clipboard. That's good because I did this earlier. And if I just drop that, Control and V, into um, a spreadsheet. Um, so what I've graphed there is click kilohertz in use. Click kilohertz of peak is one that just uses the um, wavelength of the loudest cycle within the click. This one for longer clicks can use the um, the average over a number of cycles. And this is the trend line. So we don't expect any particular trend. I mean, we just happen to pick a screen with a lot of clicks on it. It does, in fact, look as though it's slightly rising. But what we could do now is sort the data by, say, loudness. So that's raw, raw peak. Uh, we'll do that. All the values here, higher values are louder than lower ones. So sort that A to Z. Whoops, I don't want to pivot chart. What is um, okay, so maybe a slightly greater rise there, but nothing very dramatic. We could sort it by this field, which is the smoothed interclick interval. Okay, so we'll sort that A to Z. Whoa. Now we're actually seeing something. So now we've got a, a much stronger rise in frequency as the interclick interval gets longer. So what this is saying is that slower click rates are generally associated with higher frequencies, um, which is interesting. I mean, we we've seen that uh, it applies to Atlantic and Baltic harbour porpoises quite generally but some recent work done at St Andrews suggests that in the Black Sea the porpoise there doesn't show this relationship which is very interesting um, and it, it maybe highlights the fact that it is a, a separate subspecies um, so that was um, that was porpoises. We obviously we could do the same, um, but just with dolphins. So um, show from start, um, show next screen. Okay, we've got a um, two thousand eight hundred eighteen. This number isn't always quite fitting that, but more or less. Um, yeah, so this looks like a lot of 
feeding buzzes here and we've got 4,000. So let's grab those, put raw data into clipboard, go to our spreadsheet, drop them in there. Um, and we'll look at the, um, maybe we'll just look at the click kilohertz of the peak there. It's sort of conceptually nice and simple. It's just based on the wavelength of the loudest cycle. Um, and we'll add a trend line to that graph. So we'll just do a linear one like we did before. And we'll make it uh, We'll make it solid, yes, um, and red. Okay. So this actually was just showing a slight rise over time. Let, let's just sort that by the the peak. Um, Okay, that is showing a, a stronger rise than the one that occurred by chance there. Um, and let's see what, what happens if we click on the, if we sort it by the smooth interclick interval. Sort that out. Woo, it's now going the other way. Okay, so... Um, that's saying that when the dolphin is clicking it more slowly, the frequency is it's lower. Okay, there's various hypotheses you could erect around this, um, and and I'm not going to um, dig into all those. Interesting though it might be, because this was just to give you an idea of how you can um, explore these things quite quickly so you might want to say well what about if we change the the length of the clicks okay the frequency rises a bit what if we go back to our porpoises and ask the same question there let's so we'll sort them um yeah so longer clicks are coming out a bit higher in frequency so longer and louder clicks were coming out higher in frequency um Okay, so there's um, there's other things you could look at here. These these things are the interpeak interval, which is the wavelength or the wave period, to be more exact, of the um, the cycle before the loudest cycle, of the loudest cycle, of the one after and the one after that. So you 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 can explore um, those things as well. And it's worth saying that these things are actually easier to look at in time domain data like this than they are in the data from a, a WAV file recorder, um, which samples at uniform intervals. The, the reason being the pod sampling at a million samples a second and then doing a, a virtual upsampling to four million a second. So it's getting very high resolution on these, these measurements. Okay, I hope that was useful and thanks for your attention.